Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi ho <laughs> <laughs> Did you miss me? It's hello. It's been a while since I've been on Facebook Live. I'm about to do a simple look. Well, it's not simple. Um, it really just depends on where where I end up taking it, cause I never end up recreating the photo I'm trying to recreate. Zeus, shut up. Still got a good dinner, dinner, so I'm not gonna be on here too long. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. Thank you, my love. Um, some Dermaseal from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I love this stuff. So after I moisturize my face, I'm gonna go in with the Ulta Beauty Face Primer. This is matte because I am very, very oily. When I say very, I mean very oily especially when i put on like a heavy foundation and i already don't like foundation so but i don't i just don't like the way foundation sits on my face for my brows i do shape my own brows this is the ulta slim brow pencil i love it but the only thing is you don't get a lot in this pencil it's 10 freaking dollars so i also use which this one is empty, but I use the ColourPop. And it's pretty much the same, but it's $5. You want $5 off, you can tap my face and all you'll have to do is pay for the shipping. I just pretty much fill in where the gaps are just because my brow is already kind of dark. On some people, it look cute, but I feel like I'm too light to do a dark brow. Also, I don't follow makeup rules. So if you think I'm doing it wrong, I don't know. I do it my way. Also, too, one is square and one is round. It's just I don't I don't get it even when I try to shape them when I uh, clean them up. No, nah. my brows are not twins at all. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a flat brush. So I just got this e.l.f. concealer in a box box from Influencer, which came like this, and it was only two. I don't know why they sent this big old box for just two little video foundations, but I got these for free. All I do is take my phone and just scan the products that I have in my house, the um Hair products, makeup, cleaning products, food, you name it. If it got a barcode on it, I guarantee I've probably put a review in for it. And they do these campaigns. Um, let's say like this concealer, I've reviewed so many concealers. So Elf wanted to do this and I got the box for free. This is like my fifth box. My brows. Oh, I'm gonna clean up my brows with the e.l.f. This is Deep Olive. Oh, no, y'all. We'll see. It's supposed to be 16-hour camo concealer. I like the packaging, though. It's really cute. 0 0.2. Mm, it's not a full ounce, but I got two. And this one is Tan Latte. So, I just go... Along my la lash, my brow line. Oh, and I don't use the brushes for what they're supposed to be used for. No makeup rules over here, y'all. So if you see me using a big brush, a powder brush, shit. So if you see me using a big brush, a powder brush, shit. So if you see me using a big brush, a powder brush, shit. A powder brush to blend out some eyeshadow. Don't judge me. It's already dry. I didn't even do, what the hell? 
This ain't blending. Wow. Okay, you got to work fast with that concealer. Now I see why I say 16 hour. This shit dry in like 2.5 seconds. But I do like the way it kind of just matte down. I might use this to set my eye with. It's not too heavy. But I do want to... I want it to look like I have a highlight under my brow. So I'm going to go in with the tan latte. I'm here by myself, y'all. It is so quiet. Besides the dogs, because Kylan is gone for the summer. So it's just me. It's way too quiet. But I don't want them dogs to start barking. They be getting on my nerves. Mm, I don't know how I feel about this conceal. This brow just, it's like I'm missing this whole corner of my brow. I don't know where it went and, or when it's coming back, but... And see, I don't like overdrawing this brow. Let me just do the same thing on the other side. But like I said, I got to work quickly because this concealer dries really fast. I can't do my brows that fast yet. I guess we're going to learn today. Well, y'all see how this one just got a, a good arch and then the tail is like really thin? This one over here, it just... Mm. Okay, so I'm not going to conceal the top with those light colors just because I don't want a complete halo eye. Maybe I should. Yeah, I should. Just because the look has to draw attention to my eyes. But I'm going to go in with the darker concealer. And I always start in the middle at the top just so that I can try to keep that shape and work my way to both sides. Go ahead, blend that out. Dang, I blended away the eyebrow. You know what? I'm not gonna fight with it today. That look thin, like I don't have no eyebrows. Oh, I did do, I did a mask, what was that, last week on my face, and I accidentally put the mask in my eyebrow, so that's another reason why they probably thin, because it took out chunks of my eyebrow. Okay, so I'm going to use the lighter shade and just cover the whole lid. You basically want to cover up your undertones, give yourself a clean canvas. Now... Where you place your concealer depends on how big your eye is. Can't do it. She love them thin though. So just give yourself a clean base. And I have hooded eyes. So like I'm gonna end up getting a crease there, but some people set their eye with powder, some people don't. I don't like to set my eyes with powder because I don't like the way eyeshadow blend on powder. I had to I realized that a lot of people don't know what they're doing. And when I first started up in makeup, I just I was doing it all wrong, y'all. <laughs> I seen one of my pictures and I was like, ooh. But see, I, I would ask for help and people act like it's a secret to this stuff. And it, it's really not like, it's not a secret to it. So that's why I just be like, I don't have no makeup rules because I'm going to use what I want, where I want, when I want. Most of my brushes, I don't, I probably bought two Three sets of brushes. Two of them I got from Wish for like a dollar. And then the other two are my real techniques. All my other brushes. Oh, except for my crayon case brushes. But all the other ones. Um, Babe pays for the Morphe and Me subscription. So I get like three to eight brush. Three to five. 
three to six or something like that, like these. And it's another one, but I got, oh, it's one of these, I think. Um, but I got another brush and I got these for $19.99. This brush by itself, it costs like 18 bucks. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe one first. It looks like this. I'm missing colors because Zeus ate it when I first got it. I didn't even get to play in it and Zeus ate it. Number 12 brush and it's a blending brush. I love this brush for this part, but I'm gonna bring y'all in some more. Do not blend on top of creases because you're gonna, it's gonna look patchy or like you have a line right there and you don't. That's what you don't want. Okay, so I'm going to go into this color right here. Mm -hmm. See, I be talking about people who be coming on here with makeup all under their nails because it looks so disgusting. And mm -mm. Hold on, y'all. Cause... And I'm just going to go right up under my brow bone. Now, you don't want to add too much because you cannot take away. Most people like to pat because you get the color payoff first before you blend. See how I'm just patting that in? I'm building up that color. You always want to start with your lightest color first. See, you want to pat that on. You get, you get more pigment. Also, too, if you use a lighter base concealer, your colors will pop more. Now, if you have smaller lids or smaller eyes, period, put the concealer only below this crease right here or just a little bit above, depending on what size your eyelid is. And you could just put color right there and then have like all brown here. That way you don't have to do five or six colors. But also too, it depends on how big your eyelid is. That's how many colors you can fit in your in your eyelid space. So let's say like my eyelid space is like this big, but I see a look that has green, blue, yellow, cut crease, and then I got pink and purple. I'm not gonna be able to fit all that on this little bitty space. So you'd have to take out some of those colors or make the sections smaller. So what that means is, I'm gonna go in with my second color. So I use this brush to pack in this brown color, right? I'm going to the orange in this Morphe palette, but I'm going to use, so I'm gonna go in with this Morphe brush. The difference is the size. And it's because of where it's because of where I want to place. So I want to place this next color here below this first color. So if I was to go into the orange with this one and I go to blend it out, it's going to be all up into this brownish color. Smaller brush, if I was to go into here, it will go just where I want it to go. So I'm going to go in with this brush. So you see the difference between all three of these brushes? The size of your brush matter. I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm using this brush here. And I'm going to go into this orange right here. Okay, so instead of just blending out, like I said, pat the color on first. So even though you're like, okay, that's not enough orange. That's not doing it for me. Make sure you blend that out first. Get rid of those harsh lines. You do not want to leave lines. You want it to blend together smoothly. So then I'm gonna go back in. I'm still patting. You, you see how all that orange came up? But I didn't go above my brow bone. I want it to stay here. Now, like I said, with the bigger brush if i was to go here you see how it goes above that line 
that would be all up here and i want this to be kind of vibrant but not too much because we're gonna cut the crease and see my line is here so i want to make sure that this orange comes a little bit above that line so that way when i cut my crease i can still see it now i know a lot of y'all like uh hello i can't cut my crease yeah, you can. You got to take your time. And another thing is, a lot of people, a lot of people be like, oh, I want, I want a look that's going to take me only about 10, 15 minutes. What look do you want that take 10, 15 minutes? If you want a look, you're going to have to do no eyeshadow, maybe brows, foundation, lip gloss, lipstick, whatever you use and call it a day. Okay, you're not going to get a full beat in 10, 15 minutes. The stiffness of the brush, girl, no eyeshadow, no nothing. The stiffness of the brush matters. You see how that's just flimsy? That one not? This is a blending brush, but it's really soft. It's made for blending. And it's it's way too soft. What is this? Oh, this is crayon case. That makes sense. This is a beginner friendly brush. I think I'm gonna take this orange up and then I'm gonna add a darker, a, bleh, a darker color in that crease. So I'm gonna take it up a little bit more. Pat first. Back to the stiffness of the brushes. If I were to go in with this brush, this is a foundation brush, but let's say it was smaller with these bristles. If I were to try to blend this out with this brush, it's going to take all of the eyeshadow away. You don't want that. You want to use a softer brush like that crayon case brush. I don't know what I did with it. I got so much going on over here. Yeah, this one. You want a softer brush to blend out that harsh line. I'm going to bring y'all back in. So y'all can see me get rid of this line. Is that too close? My bad, y'all. I probably scared y'all, huh? <laughs> but, okay. So you see, you see this harsh line? Let's get rid of that. Okay, so I'm going to take this soft brush and I'm going to go back into the first color we used to blend out that line. You can always go back into the other colors that you use. You see how that line just slowly started to fade? I don't want my eyeshadow all the way up here. That is, that is my main problem. I be trying to put too many colors. I like playing in colors. I don't know why. Oh, y'all, I neglected this eye over here. Why y'all didn't tell me? I forgot all about this one. When you're doing your, your makeup or your eyeshadow, should I say, always do what you do to one eye, do to the other. Don't get completely done with this eye and then you get over here and you don't know what you did. So you got to guess. And what you did, and this eye may not look like this one. Okay. What brush did I use? Oh. And the reason why you pat first is because, let me show you. Go in and just blend first. You can't really see it. If I pat that in, it'll take all that eyeshadow and place it into that concealer. Then I blend it out. So, now watch. This is the orange. See all that? Ooh. Oh, no. See how it just, it went all over the place. Ew. Now I got a little patch right here. You see it? How it's shiny. Oh, this is the brush that got the glitter in it. I think I used it for highlight. See, I told y'all I don't use my brushes for what they're intended to be used for. That's a blending brush, and I was using it for highlight. Now I got this harsh line. 
So I'm going to go back in with the BH Cosmetics brush. Oh, and I put it in, in lotion. Y'all, I'm discombobulated over here. Back into the brown. And I'm going to have to use another brush because this one is wet. Thanks. All right, I'm going in with this brush in the brown. Oh, where you hold the brush matters too, okay? The farther, the farther you hold the brush, the less control you have. The closer you hold the brush, the more control you have. So I like to hold mine in the middle. Give me enough room to do the wiper motion. If I hold it here and I do this, I'm not really picking product up. This one looks darker, I feel like. But also too, I don't have no light on this side. It's so gloomy outside. I got two windows to the right of me. And that's where all my sunlight come in when the sun starts setting. But I don't have, I don't have any light. No lights, no lights, no lights, no lights. I'm gonna bring y'all out some, bring you out some, bring you out some. There we go. This brush right here, again, it's smaller than, ooh, these brushes. And that's because I am now going deeper into my crease. So let me just bring y'all back in so y'all can see where I'm placing it. Smaller brush. Back it into my crease. And that red is not gonna blend with that orange. I knew better. I knew better than that. I knew better than that. This brown stirs. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Can, can y'all see? Can y'all see? Let me bring it out just a little bit. Just a little bit. This brush. And I'm going back into the orange. And I'm bringing that orange back in. And blend out that brown. Y'all, I was supposed to go get my bridesmaid's dress. And I keep forgetting. See how I went back in with that uh, orange? Layer them colors. Your color disappeared, girl. Bring that back. Bring it back. Bring it back. The trick is never use the same brush. Still switching brushes. Zinga, shut up. Don't get dogs. Don't get pets. Patting in that brown still. Okay. Switching brushes into the orange. Ooh, y'all. I see some, some, some. I don't know what I see right here, but I see something. I know. Cause you, I didn't eat the cinnamon rolls. Wasn't me. Couldn't get me on the counter. Wasn't me. Ooh. Girl, y'all see that harsh line? Mm-mm. We got to get rid of that. Gots to go. You gots to... Gots to go. What is that off of? Oh, uh, um, um. Friday after next. Whole oh, green motherfucker. Hey, that day. Y'all don't mind me. Best dubious place, simple and blend the brown in. Back. Sydney, you always come through for a player. Always. Always, always, always. I'm gonna bring y'all in some more. Again. Again, again, so you can see. Oh, y'all know I'm short. Y'all know I'm short. And if I come up anymore, all this is gonna fall over. Because my vanity is too small for me, but I'm too short for everything else in here.
I can't wait to get another one. Oh, I got to bring my comments back up. Okay. So, like I said, this is the e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer. Oh, I'm going in with this flat brush. I love this. This is a Morphe M432. But I have an alternative for you guys. I got these Michaels. They were a dollar. They're paint brushes. I told y'all no makeup rules over here. I'm going to give y'all the simple, cheapest, easiest way to get this stuff done. Steady, okay? Listen, what you don't want to do, I'm going to do it because I know I can fix it. You don't want to do this. Don't just swipe. You do not want to do that because you'll mess yourself up, okay? I got too much concealer. You want to take your time and... Cut it quick. Not quick. How you going to take your time and cut it quick? Girl, what? get your stuff together. Take your time and cut it precise is what I meant. Now, y'all see how it just go up? I like to look and see like where it meets so I'll know where I need to stop. You want to just make it look kind of messy. That way, when you bring that brown back in, it won't just be a harsh line. Well, we can fix that. I can fix that. I'm tired of digging these holes, Grandpa. Well, that's just too damn bad. Oh, fuck. See? Messing with y'all. I'm messed up. Now I gotta take it up even higher. Y'all know what? I'm gonna leave it alone. But guess what? We're gonna take this right here. I'm kind of get rid of it a little bit. And this is the same brush from earlier. This is the brush I was using for the orange. What brush is this? A Coastal Sense brush. And they always have sales on their brushes. But the brushes is already cheap. Tap my face. It's a link in there. I think you get $5 off, I think. I think. Don't quote me. I said I think. I could be lying. And this is the Juvia's Place. That middle color right there. Yeah, I, I kept sticking my fingers in the eyeshadow. So my fingernails is definitely dirty now. So y'all don't have to deal with it till I wash my hands. Y'all know I didn't cut the crease. So I'm not going to cut the crease. And I'm going to go in with this same color. And do the exact same thing. I don't know how well this is going to work. But. <laughs> this would work if you wanted something more subtle. So you see how I don't have as much. Color payout. As I do with the concealer. So if you don't know how to cut your crease. This is, an, this is an alternative. Now I'm going back into the Morphe palette and we're going to go into that brown that we were using. I'm going to use a fluffy brush. Let's see that. It's soft. Now these are the beginner brushes. This is the brown I used. I didn't add anything to this brush, but this is the brush we use for the orange. Okay, so back with the um, crayon case, back into the brown. We're going to do this side now. You see how we got that line? So we're going to fix that. I don't want that line. Anymore. Now I'm going back into that champagne color we used. And get rid of this line. It's a trick. Watch this. 
this is a uh, setting spray no okay so I'm gonna take and I'm gonna dip it into that champagne color Y'all know I don't want that line there. No ma'am, no ma'am, no ham and no turkey. Okay, so you see how like in the beginning, this wasn't as pigmented, but as soon as I sprayed a little bit of the setting spray on my brush, it gave me a lot more pigment. They kind of almost look the same. The only difference is this have a more gradient look and that's because I put this on a clean base and this one I put on top of that brown, that, that orange, and then just my undertones too. So this is still pretty. When you can't do, you know, you can't do a cut crease, you can't, you doing this, just spray your brush with some, that stuff, that spray stuff. The setting spray. <laughs> uh, yeah, just set it with that. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to show y'all my trick. Y'all, I be struggling with this Zoom crap. Okay, bring y'all, listen. Okay, so earlier, I don't know if all of you guys were here, but I had said that I don't like foundation. I don't like the way it feel on my face. I don't like the way it look on my face. I don't like it. I don't care for it. I'm going to be using the Crayon Case Concealer in 19. I have 18 around here somewhere or two. But I lost it the same day I got it. Make The makeup look I had Saturday. That was concealer. I ain't had no foundation on, girl. This is my new foundation. I love it. Just, just watch. Just watch. You wouldn't believe it's concealer. Matter of fact, I don't... I don't know if AD, AD probably ain't on here no more. But I had it on Saturday at the funeral. You might see some streaks, but I'm going to go in with a different brush. So, trust the process. Y'all need to shave my mustache. Y'all see it? $32, bitch, what? Bitch, what? Bitch, what? Huh? Huh? What? No, uh, uh honey. I can take that back. No ma'am, no ham, no turkey. I'm not paying $32 for no satin spray. All right, y'all, I probably look streaky and cakey, but that's what the buffer brush is for. Ooh, did y'all see me color correct? No ma'am. Y'all, and this is concealer, okay? Y'all, I'm going to have a mustache and a beard like my grandma. I'm not even lying, y'all. I already see the peach fuzz. I should have shaved all this. Wax something. I'm going to put some nair on it. Bam! Y'all, look at that. That was only concealer. Um, I do not know how to contour. I'm gonna go in with some powder though. This powder, I, I think I mixed a couple of them together, so I don't know what's in here. And some of them aren't my shade. But it works for me because I mixed them. But I know one of them is, oh, this is a bronzer. I use a bronzer. See, no makeup rules. dry but you can tell the difference at least i can tell the difference let's see oh yeah that shine just goes right away and that's one reason why i don't like to wear foundation i don't like the cakiness of it give me a full coverage in something very light not something see-through. Not to where I look like I've been playing in mud. Or I'm sweating a sweating milk dud. 
y'all. It's so in itch. So the lashes I'm going to be using. These came free with my bundles. They say they're mink lashes. But it don't it don't have a brand on it. Mascara, mascara, wet and wild mega wear. And I like this because it gives me volume and Link. I'm going in with this voluminous base by L'Oreal and it's white but I'm using this because my bottom lashes are very thin but they're long so <laughs> matte crayon and mason back in with my um this is an eyeliner, but I use it on my lips. It's leaning, boy. That mug is leaning. Lipstick. It's a matte liquid lipstick. It's called, it's by Beauty Now and Next. You better hop up on this live. You better not call me. Don't call me again. This is Milani and this is Double Espresso. Oh, highlight, highlight. We gonna hop into the crayon case. No makeup rules. Told y'all. No motherfucking makeup rules. Okay, I lied. I lied, I lied to keep you from breaking my heart. Ooh. To keep you from breaking my heart. Ooh. Morphe James Charles palette. And I don't know what color it is, but we're going to be using this one right here. I have to put my highlight here. The lady at, um, Mac, is that Mac? I think so. Lady at Mac told me that since my cheekbones are so high, like my highlight literally has to go right up under my eye. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like that. Mm. Mm -mm. Y'all see that? Did it change? I can't see comments in a way, but it did it look like it did something? Cause it looked like it do something to me. And I like doing it. Let me know when you're done. Let me I'm about to snap it up. I missed the song. Mm. Mm. All right, y'all. For real, for real. I'm gone.